Hi, this is Rock Chow. Today is August 15, and I have something that I'm very proud of to share with you. I have always been wanting to go into the government to be the head of Hong Kong, the chief executive for a very long time. And to do that, I have to have a role model that I can learn from. And that person is the former chief executive of Hong Kong, Grandpa Learn. You know, speaking of Grandpa Learn, people have a pot at him bantering that he is the father of Hong Kong independence back in 2014 in the Unbattled Revolutions. Well, to me, it is irresponsible comment. Really, I do admire him from the bottom of my heart just because of one thing, his determination. You may ask, his determination on what? Well, so clear, it's so obvious. It is his determination on counting the S on Apple Daily that counts. So many counts here. Yeah, you may ask why. I'm going to tell you why. Counting the S is just like counting the armpit hair. Well, he has a strong belief that if if he counts his armpit hair every day, not only single day, every day without stopping consecutively for 2,000 days, then the armpit hair would disappear finally and he can save the high cost, the big amount of money of laser hair removal. So he also have a strong belief that if he count the S on Apple Daily, a anti-government newspaper, then the S on Apple Daily would finally disappear. So I run down and buy one Apple Daily myself and start counting the S like what he's doing now, right? My fire is igniting in my heart. I have the same determination until next minute I give up because there are literally too many ads. The ads stop me in the track. There are too many ads to the point that it is impossible to count. You know, it was supposed to be a simple task and I meant to do it with ease but I failed. It is the first time that I feel my indignity where I really want to give up because in the past I think that I have the ability I have the things that is required to be the head of Hong Kong to be the chief executive you know I speak good English and good Cantonese with a great sense of humor and at the same time be persuasive as well. Ah, I drop to the bottom, so I go to my last observation. I go to Grandpa Sloan's Facebook page and his latest post is he's trying to mock a student who speak bad English here in Hong Kong. How is his proper as the former chief executive to laugh at the student here in his own place? Well, I have no clue at all. Would Boris Johnson laugh at his student in the UK saying that you speak bad English, (laughs) go back to Mexico. (laughs) I don't know how and why he can do that, but I am inspired. Maybe the reasons that I can't count the ads on Apple Daily just like what he is doing is because I can't speak good enough English and Cantonese. So I started to keep training my English and Cantonese speaking ability. And I in the hope that I finally reached that standard that is enough for me to count the ads so I can become the future chief executive of Hong Kong. Yeah. This is what I want to share with you today.
and rock champ see you next time